Your visions are in alignment. Um, <clears throat> you know, as we came into the circle and vision, are we in alignment? Do we, after we vision this property, does somebody want to throw, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> is, is one of the person a filmmaker and wants to film porn on the property and the other person wants to open a Waldorf school on the property? You know what I mean? Like, are you in alignment? Maybe you are. Like, that's the fun thing. Like, getting our group together and it's like, you know, we live for celebration, but we often, we also honor and respect spirit in the land. You know, we want to celebrate. We want to party a little bit sometimes, but we also like have other things. So can we manage this? Can we do it all? Yes, I think we can. Um, don't over plan and leave room to grow. You know, just be like, don't, don't lock it. When you get in there, don't say like, we, in this short time period, you know, vision the property, 20 days later find the property, three days later accept an offer, and two months later you own it. Three months or so for the process is a little quick, but believe that you can do it, but leave yourself room to grow. Like, we don't know exactly what we're doing. We don't know what the big vision is. We don't know if this is going to turn into Harbin Hot Springs, but just set yourself, you know, set yourself some room to be like, you know, we can be that, but we also, what do we really respect? For me, it was like, I need this to be my home. If it turns into not being my home, if this is Harbin Hot Springs and I don't feel like I'm just in my home, then I, I may be time to move on. And we created contracts that said, like, how we can do that, how I can move on, you know, how anybody can move on. And trust, trust, <sighs> trust is such a big lesson here. You know, this, this book right here, Creating a Life Together, it'll be on this thing, and if you send me, if, I'll send you an email if you put your email, but, you know, trust is like, they're saying like, hey, this one guy in here is, you know, 40 years later after they started this community, he's the only person left, and they didn't do the operating agreements correctly, and now this guy, because they said everybody needs to agree, he's an old geezer now, and he's just like, screw it, I don't like anything you're doing, and they could never move anywhere, they could never get any growth, you know, so, you know, that's the fear side of it, create good operating, operating agreements, but the trust side is... In three months, do you think the 10 of us could really figure all this out? No, like understand the vibration, know that this is gonna be okay. No, there's a trust factor. I trust that if I'm not getting my way on this property, if I really want to have something happen and seven other members don't, that I trust that the bigger vision is higher than I can create for myself. You know what I mean? The bigger vision is gonna be supported. And, I, and so I'm not, I'm not, I don't have attachment to it. I may have some attachment to it, to be honest with you. But, you know, in general, like, could I have created all this? Could I have made all this happen and have all you beautiful people here if it was just me and my vision and my control? No, I trusted in our community to, like, be their best. And it's bringing so much abundance. Next, please. <clears throat> Time to get clear on what you want. Right? What do you want? Are you ready to do? Yes. Are you ready to be and do? Yes. I hope so, because that's what it takes. You know, that like three months and then moving on the property, I'm digging ditches, I'm working. Like three weeks I've been here working nonstop. You know, there's a lot of doing, there's a lot of raking, a lot of, just on a regular basis, there's a lot of work. Right, Don? A lot of work? Oh, yeah. A lot of work when you get your property. It's not, uh, it's not your condo. This is work, so mm -hmm. be clear what you want. Maybe you want the four condos and you don't want to mm -hmm. mow everything all the time. You can have that. Maybe you want the industrial building and like gardens in the middle and brick and like businesses downstairs and like pool inside, like sound systems, the old uh, uh, <coughs> Space Island 3.0 or something. You, you can have that. Just be clear what you want. Vision exercise. So we did a vision exercise. Bianca led us through... Um, writing out our desires on post-it notes, reading them aloud, placing them on a wall, no repeating, basically like if I say I want a pool and Kyle says he wants a pool, when we go through and I've written my stack and each person reads them off, Kyle said he wants a pool, I trashed my pool, it's already on there. We post it all on a board. Uh, organize into categories, like this is, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> spiritual, this is business related, this is infrastructure, what do you want, and see where you're similar and where your desires might not work. What a great exercise to actually know, like, are you producing porn or having a school, you know, like, okay, we actually 
do want this. And you're setting your intention, right? We talk about it, but we're setting it. We actually put it out there. We wrote it on paper and said, this is what we want. And, you know, you, you can bring it in from spirit is supporting my intention. Or, you know what? We said we want pygmy goats. Like, you know, we're going to make it happen. And we speak to our friends and we're like, yeah, it's funny. We want these, like, small animal farm here. You know, and like, hey, I know somebody that's trying to get rid of a small animal farm. You know, and that stuff starts happening. We wanted the pro kitchen. It was on the list, you know, and Bianca called it in. It's like, well, Chef B's got this stuff sitting in the desert outside. He can't store it. Like, he's not around. Like, he needs a place for it to be, you know? Like, that's how it works. We put it out there. Next, please. No, sir. No, we were, like, running behind. Yeah. It's important, right, guys? Yeah. 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 Uh, so there's the, there's the thing. These were our notes. These were our post-its, you know. Um, space for elders, barn space, galactic megaphone, trees, dream big, stream or lake. I didn't think we could have a stream or a creek on a property in San Diego and all this space and no neighbors and all that kind of stuff. Two creeks. Like, it just doesn't really happen. Next, please. Finding your property. Using the internet to find your home will be most efficient. So here's some sites. Redfin's my favorite. West Coast. Uh, DC, Austin, uh, for most of you, West Coast, Denver, all of this. I, I found you guys properties in Denver, Portland, here, Monterey, Santa Cruz, all on Redfin. I love it. Next, please. Five things to look for online. This is what I look for. You know, acreage and privacy, the amount of units, the kind of zoning on it, which gets a little thick, but zoning meaning, you know, can you, yeah, can you have agriculture? Can you have horses or are you allowed to build more units, you know? And we check, we go to the county and they're like, yeah, you can build another house here. You've got enough acres or not. Like don't buy yourself a two unit place and you need five units and then not be able to think you can grow into it. And then you're stuck in this weird situation. Price changes, I look for price changes. Like how much are they, they've, it's been on the market 180 days and they're cutting it every two weeks, you know? I'm like, okay, they're ready to deal. Like what can I go? Well water, it's important to me, might not be important to you, but when it all ends, like, I got my well. <laughs> Next, what are some things you want in property? You know, you want acres, wells, bedrooms, multi-units. Next, I'm cruising through this. Okay, the properties. Um, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna beam through these and then I'm gonna take you to the actual listing. 